I think I'm still dead. I didn't hit anything meaningful enough. Man. I didn't hit York too either. Ah, oh, goodbye world. I didn't hit York. I didn't hit Alawi. My items are still in Kench. Goodbye world. It's not even close. Man, such a strong early game. And then the moment people have CCs, I can't play the game. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. What about roll at 8? No, if you roll at 8, you die no matter what. There's nothing you can hit at 8 that keeps you alive in that lobby. You had to go 9 and hit legendaries. It's the only way. You have to hit a 1-star board of legendaries that keeps you alive. And then... Stay alive to two-star your legendaries to win the game. Was it still Olaf? No, it's never still Olaf there. It's support the Olaf in a way that makes sense. But we just didn't hit anything. I rolled, I never saw a piece of unit, uh, a piece of synergies that could make Olaf stay alive. There needed to be other tanks that were decent, like a two-star Zac and a one-star Alawi, but we never hit it. Oh, Penguin. Keeping the Nami? Yes. Now that I hit Gwinsu's, I definitely want the Nami. The, uh, if I didn't hit Gwinsu's, I would not have kept the Nami. Oh, Team Ricardo. It's not Disco Nami, so I don't really want her. Holy shit, this Tarek is so strong. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. Oh my god, everybody has disco. Uh, there is one headliner that is super good here, if I can hit it. If I can hit it, it's basically guaranteed to win. But the only way for me to do it, the only way for me to have a chance of a two-cost headliner here is to sell my pair of Terex and level, which means giving up on Disco entirely, but I, I feel like I'm down. I feel like I'm down. All right, show me a Kale headliner. Dang it. Hello, Life Cebu. Thanks for three months. Okay. I'm pretty sure since there's three player or four players playing Disco, if you count me as well, I'm pretty sure you just play Pentakill here. Kale can hold Gwinsu's really well. Karthus can actually use it. Like, it's. Wait, why didn't I get one gold? Wait, what? Oh, oh, did I kill a unit? I actually, like, don't even know how to put in earbuds correctly. Back in my day, earbuds are just like you put it into your ear and you just like hope it stays in and usually it doesn't. But now it's like you like wrap it around your ear to like form a tight fit and they're kind of like earplugs. It's strange. Uh, spat's good. I'm pretty sure tier is decent here. I like the three gold. <coughs> the rod was most likely <coughs> to create good items. But one gold is a big deal. I think we just sit on this for a little bit. I'm gonna try to pivot off of Disco. It's so contested. One, two, three, four players. So five Disco players total, actually. What the hell? Yeah, get me out, get me out. Let me play Pentakill instead. 
I mean, it doesn't even have to be Pentakill, but Pentakill's like the easy strong build here. What other builds can I play here? Uh, I feel like there's not much. <laughs> Rapid fires aren't that good here. I wish Caitlyn were good right now. I'd play her a lot. Oh, Spectrals. Thanks for the five months. Fuck. I would love a four streak right here. Is there any chance I get a four streak? It's not the end of the world if I don't get it, but I really hope I get it. Kill my dummy, kill my dummy. Okay, yes, I win the round, but can you kill my dummy? No! Barely. Hello, Loki Ross. I believe in the 1000 LP. I do too. I do too. Okay, are you guys ready for the big pog I was here pog play? This is where I, Albert Boxboxing, sells the Nami. Well, I don't need to sell next turn because I get to see a headliner anyway. But after this round, I sell the Nami if I don't like my headliner. And then I roll and hit Kale and the game's over. Kale headliner saves me 1 billion HP. Oh, what the? Maybe a KDA pivot? Wait, actually, maybe I KDA to pivot. Jazz? I can do better. Actually. I think this bard's like acceptable. He's not the best though. But like, not having to roll is kind of nice. Because if you roll, you might hit kill, you might also just miss. I'm not too happy about the Shiv that I had to slam though. If you play Pentakill, Shiv is like a wasted item completely. Oh, actually, Impenetrable Bulwark's really good here. It's literally just like full best in slot right here. It might actually be go back to Twisted Fate. It could also be Ari. I'm not even kidding. I could maybe make an Ari play here work. It's hard to get um scapegoat value here. Okay. I'm probably gonna level to seven after creeps and then uh, re-roll my headliner. Oh nice, I got skip value because my mortar is so tanky. I'm really not happy about the shift slam. I mean, I could just play card this one item down. I think I might actually play Ari here. I swear like attack speed Ari is not bad because Ari is a unit who just wants to cast a lot. Yeah, she's just a unit that wants to cast. I, I don't like the design of Spellweavers. At first glance, Spellweavers looks fun because it's like, oh, you cast, you gain AP. But on second glance, once you think a little bit harder about it, you realize like, wait, actually, Spellweavers like don't even want AP. Spellweavers only want mana. And like, it's isn't it weird that like Ari with Rabadons is considered trolling? Ari with JG is considered trolling instead of like, why is blue buff Nashers so good on Ari? Well, we know why. It's because she has low mana cost. She casts a bunch. And like her second cast and beyond is like way stronger than the first. But like it's so sad that like a JG Shojin Ari is not good. If you ever play it, you'll see it, it's just straight up garbage. Yeah, Ari's just want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. She wants blue buff Nashers. So like literally Gwinsu's on Ari's not even bad because she just casts a bunch. Oh hello, my wing. I spent five minutes wondering why you look different, and it's because you aren't wearing a headset. 
I uh, half of it's because I'm not wearing a headset. The other half is because I walked for eight minutes before today's stream. Can you see the can you see the toning in my legs? I might go back to my headset though. It really bothers me that one ear is louder than the, the other. All right, uh, yeah, give me a Kale. If I put in Lulu over Mord, I get really good uh, really good synergies. But then I'd have to sell this Mord or use my item mover. Two duplicators! Uh-oh. Wait, he's got a Karthus and he's got two dupes. Guys! Could this potentially be a bad sign for my Karthus game plan? You know, all my all the LP I've gained today is from playing uncontested weak builds. What if I just did that again? By the way, check this out. I call this one roll, one two star. I call this one roll, one two star. Okay, I really need a two star unit, please. Uh, please, I need a two star unit. Hello? I need two-star unit just to keep my streak. Thank you. Fuck, that took so long. Like, more two, Nico two, Echo two, one Karthus, Seraphine two. I, I should one to like, maintain this streak. Okay, luckily I got a free matchup anyway. But like, I had to roll there. If, if I lost my streak because I didn't roll for one of four or five pairs, I'd be so sad. Sucks to lose 10 gold for that though, but at least I keep my streak. Alright, this is where I hit one Ari and the crowd goes puggers. Okay, come on Oliver. You actually probably have to roll a little bit here. There's so many good things I can hit at 7. Nico 2, Echo 2. Uh, I can even hit Lulu Headliner, hit Ari 1. Oh yeah, this guy also had two uh, dupes. He's gonna 3 star something. Why are you so poor? It's because I rolled to keep streak. Sona? Oh my god. Uh, get a decent headliner and stop. What an interesting board I have here, seriously. It's also perfect synergies. All right, I'm definitely not playing Akali. Oh, I got one gold. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing Akali now that I have the Sona. Okay, I would love a two-star Nico, but otherwise I should probably just chill. I can't believe that worked out so well, the rolling at seven. I just destroyed this guy who went 8 and rolled down. It's not hero grab bag. Actually, that could lead to a 3-star Lulu, but it's nothing right now. I uh, don't want bulk. I do have a pretty good item spread. Is it over healing orbs instead? I think it's bulk. I don't think I slammed the bow. I think the bow should be saved for Lulu. If I can instead get a, an Ari, get a KDA Ari and then rebuild, I think it's really strong. Oh, this guy is quite strong. But I feel like my board's actually pretty crazy. Do, do not underestimate my board. One star Echo Fox. One star Nico Fox. One star Kennen. Giga Chat Frontline. I, I win this. I win this. You know what? I take it all back. I am not close to winning at all. You know what? It's all good because I've got HP. I'm just gonna chill. Hmm. 
Okay, a lot of Akalis. Only one guy had Ari. Alright, I mean, let's see if my uncontested spell weaver play can work out. You know, it might actually be healing Sona here. Keep my frontline alive. I feel like that might be the play. Attack speed is not, not that great here. It was also nerfed recently. What do I want here? I have a bow. I'm down for like Nashers for Ari or Lulu. I'm also down for red buff Lulu. Oh, let's get dead before he has roll three. Poor guy. Uh, I'm gonna roll until I hit like a frontline upgrade. I can't actually play Keanu here. Hmm. When's the time to sell Lulu? Yeah, I was thinking about that. She's one of the better headliners I could have right now, but if I wait till creep round, I want it to roll because I, I only have to roll, hit a little bit here to make it work out. I should hit like one Nico, but... Maybe I shouldn't switch the weight. Like, my frontline's so pathetic. The items are good, but the, the units themselves are not. I need one cannon, one Nico, two Echoes. I probably need to do a lot of rolling. I could maybe make it to nine. I don't think it's worth risking, though. My board needs a lot of fixing. Six Spell Weaver, four KDA. You probably sell this Lulu, and then if you replace this Lulu with a frontliner, I think the game becomes really clean. Right? Then you just Nashers, Nashers the Ari, Shiv the Sona. We try and healing Sona. Yeah, I think it's better. My frontline needs so much help, and like, we're gonna scale up anyway. Oh, my frontline died before the Sonic ult even went off. Maybe it's damaged Sona. What about Ziggs over Seraphine? Uh, I already have Shred, so it's not needed. Yeah, I think if I go 9, I'm gonna die. I need to, I need to roll 8 here. I think the best thing I get here is a KDA Ari. Yeah, KDA Ari gives you perfect synergies again. It's also uncontested. This guy's playing Disco Jin. That is woke beyond belief. All right, give me a Nico and a Disco Ari. If I get Spell Waver Ari, I could maybe play for uh, seven Spell Weavers at nine. But I really need a front line. I think I'd also just take like a Thresh Guardian or a Bruiser Zack. Bruiser Zack would be less good. I think Sentinel Blitzcrank would be good. Oh, KDA Spat. Oh my God. Wait, holy shit, and Gunblade. All right, come on, Albert, you can do it. Just hit a decent headliner and stop rolling. I need a rod. Oh wait, actually. Okay, and then I just go 9 play Lulu. Oh wait, I should just KDA Sona. What am I doing? Yeah, I should KDA Sona. That's not bad. Or Cyber Bulk it. Okay, I can remove. Honestly, I might still need to roll. Fuck, if I can go 9 and play Lulu though, I'd become so strong. Like, my strongest unit is on... It's on, uh, One star. Oh, 
Oh man, this this Akali is like okay. It just it's so sad knowing that it could have been an Ari. I'd be so much stronger. I'm playing like a naked Ari or naked Akali, who doesn't even benefit from Spellweaver. Oh my god, that was really sad. I'm not even gonna make it to nine. I forgot that it's Radiant Blessing! Oh my god, I just got another KDA spat. Wait. Wait. No wonder everyone had double doom. I forgot. No wonder everyone was so strong. I was playing down a radiant or uh, down the blessing. Wait, I actually could win the game here. I just have to go nine and then. Oh my god! I have to hit one Eve. Oh my god! My front line is so good, but. Oh, my front line is so good, but guys, I don't want to die. <laughs> Eve on carousel, KDA spat, Eve, no. Right Dang it. Probably more or less. The Sakali applying anti-heal to the whole team is big. Wait, I'm so close. Oh, I, I hit Eve. Wait, so how do I do this? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I actually did it. I actually hit 10 KDA. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Literally from my Radiant Blessing. What the hell? Every time I go for the uncontested build, this is what happens. Alright, let's do this. 10 KDA. My team sucks, but I like have the synergy. No wonder everyone was so strong. I, I forgot I forgore that it's a radiant blessing. Alright, I mean, what can I say? Give me a give me an A. Give me an A. A? Not that A, but whatever. I guess we're just chilling. Like, oh wait. Let me try to not get my Ari killed. This is insane. 10 KDA. Everyone gains. Well, everyone's a KDA unit, so everyone's gaining 80% max health, 80% AP, AD, and 10 mana per second. Guaranteed first. I mean, if someone else hits something crazy, I'll still lose. But yeah, I need to two star this Ari. Everyone's just casting infinitely. My Ari items actually kind of troll now. Now I want full damage Ari, but it's fine. I'm not gonna complain. Any items should work. In fact, she could be completely naked. Switch Eve with the dummy? Oh yeah, it's 20 mana per second. Oh yeah, that's a very box box thing to do, to, to not value Eve over the dummy. All right, I mean, my synergies are good. I don't think you need to make any swaps, just roll for RE2. What about KDA Alawi? No, you'd be dropping a big synergy no matter what. Not worth. Alright, give me an A. Give me an A. No, no that's not worth it. I don't have a Kali replacement. Oh shit, Eve 2? You could have duped the Akali. I mean, yeah, or I could just hit. And this is fine too. This might be better, actually. Because now I have two star of everything. Would you switch Echo and Cannon with five costs? No. The synergies fit too perfectly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's no way I'm losing here. My items are super scuffed, but like, the synergy is too strong. So I will easily. Shit! 
Eve 2 at 9? That's a rare upgrade if I've ever seen one. Okay, this guy's pretty stacked. But, like, don't I just win? Getting gifted that KDA spat was incredible. Isn't York better than true damage? I mean, Echo provides Spellweaver and Sentinel. Like, it's, trust me, it's not better. Maybe if you two-star uh, two a bunch of legendaries, it'd be better, but... Not worth thinking about right now when your board already wins. Just don't make any big mistakes. Goodbye, super tanky edgelord pentakills. Hello, Emily Tayande. Welcome. All right, what's our final matchup? Oh, we didn't hit the Kai's upgrade. This? This is my final opponent. Okay, he is actually pretty strong. He's got a strong Akali. Executioner is too big to fail a pentakill. This Zack is horrifying. All right, let's do this. I'm not scared. This too big to fail thing is actually a little intimidating. If that Zack happens to die in front of my Ari, I die. Like, surely not, right? Okay, Zack down, Zack down. Nico is holding it down. Somehow Seraphine is still alive. It's over. How many times have we seen this cutscene? What a game! To, to think, I forgot about Radiant Blessing. I'm just like, man, everyone has two dupes. <laughs> I didn't realize, I didn't put two and two together and realize that everyone had two dupes because the dupe, uh, you get a free dupe on Carousel or Radiant Blessing. And it, it looks like it was a dupe, a spat, and a random component. And the fact that it gave me spat and rod is so huge. The only other thing it could have worked was like spat and sword for true damage spat. To think I went down to like one life and then assembled this and hit an Eve, that's crazy, man.